Uh, so, Mia Khalifa. This is gonna get and, Brett tilted. I n- oh, already know it. Nah, not as bad. It's it, it's tilted. very easy. C- call me a, a bit chauvinist, but it's very easy for me. Like, I don't really, <laughs> wait. I don't really care what Mia Khalifa has to say. I have to start off with: Is Mia Khalifa related to Wiz Khalifa? Not related. Uh, okay. Unless they let's unless just they show this video. clip. Question. Mia Khalifa appeared on Emrata's podcast, and they talked about predatory age gaps between older men and younger women. Uh, and people had a lot to say about it in response. And are we talking about the fact that we're t- the media is trying to make Emrata a thing? I really don't like that. I just like it because it's shorter and I don't like saying her whole last name. All right, guys, here we go. She's not Ratatouille a one-name will icon, suffice. you know what I mean? Yeah, you call her Ratatouille, Ratatouille in my presence. Here we go. Any guy who goes after a girl significantly younger than them is severely lacking in their life. And I, I mean that confidence wise, I mean, like they are falling short in so many places that that is the only place they can turn to, to feel like they have, they have something on the scale of power. And it's, I mean, ultimately it's predatory. I mean, there's just no way to kind of, because you're manipulating someone who do, is not aware of what they're giving you. Remember guys, it's unfair. in the year 2022, no one is more willing to admit that women have no personal agency than other women. But the point here is that what Amazing. they're saying here is that um, women, um, when they're in, their, in, in the very early age of like their mid twenties are somehow so uh, unaware of what's going on in their life that uh, a man older than them is somehow going to take advantage of them through voodoo. Uh, or of some sort. But my question was like when we originally came to this topic, I said, okay, does this work the other way? And then we found this amazing article for this new TV show on Hulu. Yes. Um, this is the name. It's called Back in the Groove. Yes. And it stars three women in their 40s who are in this game show dating men half their age who are in their 20s. And one wow. of them even brought their 21 year old son to be a mole in the contestants yeah. pool and give her intel. Does that mean he And that means one of the other women in their 40s formed a connection with the other one's 21-year-old also, son. Also, like, that son had to pretend like he is interested in these older yeah. women, one of whom is his mom. <laughs> I... Okay. Oh Ew. God, you're right. It was like, really weird to is, watch this trailer, this I gotta is, say. Can we watch it? <laughs> I think it would I, be copyrighted. copyrighted. This okay. is my first question. Okay, we talk a lot about power imbalances. Is there in any in any of the multiverse, is there a universe in which the men's version of the show can be made now where the dad's like, I want to date a woman uh, my daughter's age. Oh I'm going to bring my daughter, my, da- as Damon daughter. Said, my daughter, to uh, to this retreat with a bunch of 21-year-old right. women. There isn't a world where I, that can be like, made Don't now. tell me that this isn't some controlled op campaign it's also, to normalize this in our eyes. Well, it's it's also like tacitly it's admitting creepy. that men are more mature than women at, at the age. Of, they're telling me that men at the age of 21 are able well, to... Um, I don't know about that because I in the trailer it literally showed one of them yeah. looking a uh, woman in her like mid 40s yeah. in the eye and saying i have a lot of mommy issues <laughs> so i don't know if uh okay. guys in their 20s are all that mature then, let, then let's rephrase that question say that same scene happens and it's a girl in tw- and 21 years old and it's a 45 year old guy and she's like i have a lot of daddy issues. like that super creepy should get, not be on tv and doesn't get made in 2020 in 2007 i buy that that show gets made back in the day back in the day i buy that, maybe, that show gets made maybe. i don't by that that show gets made now and here's the other thing when do women adult women start actually being responsible for their own actions and relationships well here's the thing if there is a valuable conversation to be had about predatory men seeking out younger women to take advantage Mm. of them it's not Mia Khalifa and Emily Ratatouille who should be leading that conversation one person pointed out getting dating advice from Mia Khalifa is like taking mortgage advice from a homeless man. The other person said taking mortgage advice from the guy from FTX. Yeah. What I see in this video are two women who are actually quite incredibly young to be divorcees. That's one is 28 and one is 30. Um, Emily Ratatouille has a child, even yeah. from her marriage, which ended quite recently. They're bitter and resentful seeming. Mm-hmm. They uh, Even the caption of that video that was posted on Twitter said like, tell me you've hit the wall without telling me you've <laughs> hit the wall. 
That I mean, is, that maybe that's that's mean, law. but also yeah. like they're not giving anyone else a charitable interpretation. Okay. I think part of it is that they're talking about this in like too weirdly broad of uh, a a phrase, that, and yeah. right, and yeah. they aren't like let's not toss around predatory too yeah. casually here, especially in light of everything we've all been talking. They about indicated recently. they were like minors or yeah. something. Right, like right, that. right. Like no, what? no, 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 no. They said young. She, okay. Like, okay. Also, like what? What is an inappropriate age gap? Right. right? Like there's no that's, specifics. That's subjective to who you are and like all sorts of things. But like I do want to say. I believe there can be relationships between men and men who are much older than the girls that they date that are based on men who lack emotional maturity and are trying to basically stay weirdly young and are unhealthy in a lot of ways. I wouldn't describe them as predatory, but I don't think that every age gap relationship is necessarily rooted in like a healthy attachment. Sure. That is not to say that people who have an age gap can't have a healthy relationship. I want to listen to something really quick. Hold on. Any guy who goes after a Any girl guy. significantly younger than them. It's so he says, like, he, she says guys. Significantly younger girl. is very ambiguous. There's, there's ambiguous. Here's the other thing. If it's an older woman seeking out a younger man, now I'm using woman She's empowered. Man. She's, it's, right, like, she's empowered and she knows what she wants. If it's an older guy seeking out a young mm-hmm. woman, he's somehow insecure. Where is and, the flip side calling out the shares yeah. and the Madonnas the, yeah. who are currently on... Uh, a whole press tour basically right. talking oh about their yeah, and even life. Britney even yeah. Britney is in yeah. a relationship with Chris someone Jenner I think it what is Chris Jenner though, exactly. yeah like all of these older female celebrities are getting attention in the press for dating men significantly younger than them no one is calling it predatory no, no one is stigmatizing it the same way it's empowering you know, they're they're living their truth or mm-hmm. some you what's know what's funny modern... is like in a, a, a pun cougar is in the Hulu show title, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's like a predator. Mm-hmm. It's a cougar. It's uh, a predator. And also, they're admitting that. She, the, the one girl says, uh, I hate to admit it, but like, I think I'm the cool mom. Imagine the dad being like, I think I'm the cool dad. That's just creepy. No, it doesn't. Yeah. And, yeah. and it I think age gap, I mean like, uh, no one will be surprised that I watched the Netflix reality show Love is Blind. Of I love I've seen it. I <laughs> love Love is Blind. I'm so proud I of you having it. seen it. Two Brett, seasons. you need to get onto it. Never gonna you should watch Please. the third season. It's crazy. I have to say, every time they've had, I wouldn't even call it a significant age yet, but a woman who is two to five years older than the guy she ends up selecting, it always falls apart. Right. It I, does. Like, yeah. I feel that's like true. that is notable. Also, like, they're, but then they feel also, like that's their only option. Also, so they can't. Right. Switch. And like throughout at least American history, all it, the average age for men and women like getting married it's always slightly older for men yes like five years it's I, I it's so. normal for there to be an age gap between right. men and women i don't think that's weird i think it is a very weird thing to have this podcast where you're like any man who dates someone significantly younger than without defining what, what significantly, significantly younger right. means okay this is the other question they they said that when it's when it's a man doing it it's a power trip is it not a power trip are women somehow more pure is that what they're well, saying? Well, it's also a power trip because they're like, look, I'm so hot, I can get this younger guy. Yes. I In mean, regards yeah, to, I mean, even on the flip side where it's the significantly younger woman, there is still a power dynamic. And this one tweet pointed it out. They said, any girl who goes after a guy significantly higher status or more powerful and older than her is severely lacking in their life in a self-respect or they said in self-respect wise ultimately it's predatory because you're manipulating someone who is not aware of what they're giving you so all of these younger women who are specifically seeking out relationships with men significantly older than them yeah they're also trying to do a power trip of their own it's it's and that's the far more like that seems to be this wholesale far more common one in society nowadays is that the the younger woman seeks out a man with more resources look it's a stereotype I, for a reason. Yeah. Right. I'm not a fan of Hugh Hefner. Yeah. But I You're will not? say, yeah, <laughs> hot take for me. I'm anti Hugh Hefner. But I will say, I think everyone who was involved in a relationship, like the girls who were like his girlfriends, who lived in his house, who did those reality TV shows, to a certain extent, knew what was going on there. Oh, yeah. There was a clear yeah. exchange of like right. benefits for everyone involved. And I, again, don't like the Playboy stuff. I don't like Hugh Hefner, but like, I don't think that we would necessarily classify the people who had these like very formal public relationships with him and who got financial benefit from it. I don't necessarily think we classify that as a predatory relationship. Yeah. I think that there are parts of it that are it's a- unhealthy. I think that emotionally people who enter into those kind of dynamics are maybe not in a good place 
but I don't think that we can just say all men who do this are predators. Also, that all women who enter these dynamics are not aware of what kind of exchange right. is And I'm on. sick of it. I'm sick of the, uh, I get to decide later that I wasn't in my right mind when I was in my mid-20s uh, attitude of it all. You don't get to rewrite your own history mm -hmm. uh, for something like this. Here's the other thing. What if somebody is like is not playing the victim like they are and says, look, I prefer men that are uh, older than me. Is that girl who's 22, 23, 24 years, whatever, is she not a full enough agency that she gets to own that, live that, date whoever she wants? Or does Emily Ratatouille get to decide who well, is, uh, who, what, what your level of maturity is to deal with and who is, is the predator? This is us grappling with the consequences of many, many decades of like sexual revolution ideology. And social engineering. But like, I think that when it comes to grappling with those consequences the last people who have any right to talk about it are people like Mia Khalifa or Emily Ratatouille a model and because a porn star. yeah because look Mia Khalifa was out here wearing a hijab on Pornhub if there's anything that, <laughs> like that is incredibly predatory in my opinion yeah. I think that that's predatory against women who specifically wear these garments for their modesty and to not be viewed in a sexualized manner, but she used oh, it wow. to objectify yeah. them. That's predatory. How about Emrata, who appeared in the notorious Blurred Lines music video with Robin Thicke and made money off of that, made a name off of that. And, you know, I would like to see her go on some kind of apology tour, even though I don't think that's that big of a deal. Like, S just put your money where your mouth is they for once. Do. These these two women are the last people who have any room to talk. Well, also, I feel like I would feel differently if they were saying, when I was 21, I dated someone who was X number of years older than me, and it was a bad relationship, and I feel like ultimately women need to be careful. Like, they talked about it from their own experience yeah. and just said, like, this can they don't be do bad. That anymore. They, br they I would paint understand. broad but brushes. Instead, right, instead yeah. they're like, any man who does this is bad instead of taking accountability for like why they might be bringing this mm -hmm. up like i think number one if you really wanted to warn warn young women about the dangers of potentially getting involved with someone who is significantly older than you you need to give context to why you feel this way and tell me what i want to know what significantly is to them because it like in, in a right. what would you think it is i have no but idea but they benefit I, from not elaborating on yeah, what they're talking 15, about like we're talking about I mean, it because they these, didn't give it both age. of these women have initiated divorces with their husbands within the last one to two years yeah. they're also jumping on a bandwagon that we've already seen right demi lovato Julia came out with her whatever her Valdahama song stuff. 29 taylor swift has one on her album about john mayer julia like fox when they were is talking within about 10 like, yeah like julia fox demi lovato emily ratatouille uh taylor swift, even taylor taylor swift. Yeah. uh and I, I think of all of these people and like in uh, even megan markle not for this reason but like for the stuff about uh being a victim of like I can't think of a party worse than like those five women in like a <laughs> ballroom talking with wine glasses. Like that is like literally my hell. Yeah. No. That, that is my hell. I just feel like we are becoming more aware yeah. of like this potential problem, but they are not doing any anything helpful to advance the conversation, right? I also, I also want to ask this question. We hear a lot, especially when these discussions come up about the concept of power imbalances. That to me is also, it's a vague bludgeon. Mm -hmm. I want to know if anyone can actually define to me what the exact perfect, exactly right power balance is that means that he has just the right amount of power, she has just the right amount of power. Uh, equality is kind of a, a misnomer because as men and women in a traditional relationship, you complement each other, meaning that uh, where you may lack, they may fill those gaps, right? Like we as men and women are inherently different. Therefore, we fulfill different needs. Therefore, we provide for one another in ways that are in ways that we can't provide for ourselves when you're looking for a relationship to be successful. Is there such a thing as a power, as a traditional relationship that has exactly the right An power? An equilibrium? Yeah. There, well, I don't think Emily Ratatouille and Mia Khalifa think that all women are like them. Completely financially independent, yeah. set for life because of their name recognition and fame, which they will sacrifice anything to retain. Uh, and also infinitely hypergamous, so they will leave any long-term partner they're with, even if it's the father of one of their children. They think that this is representative of all women. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. Other women don't feel this way. They don't feel the need to 
be complete equals or superior because to their partners sense. because it doesn't, that make, doesn't sense. make sense in practical life no uh that's funny too because you, you think about these uh the the big the best example that they always give it's like look a a, a middle-aged ceo or a, a younger person with a lot of money he will take a woman who has no name no money to her you know not a penny to her name and he will marry her because he wants to have kids he wants to raise her wants to raise a family with her women who are powerful and ceos do not date down in me in married 20 something year old dudes because he can stay home and, and raise a family with her because that's just not how women are programmed even as society has told them that what they should be doing is uh is trying to be equals with men mm-hmm. it doesn't work and even way. the women who are participating in that hulu series don't recognize the consequences of their own actions yeah. like there was one who was 43 years old saying that she still wants to start a family with someone and that- it's like <laughs> Uh, what would that mean for you? Getting a dog? Yeah. <laughs> also, like, like, I don't understand. What, if you really want to start a family with someone, why would you be dating a 21-year-old? Right. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Someone it makes to sense. to to take care of the kids, you know? Well, <laughs> that's true. To Good inherit point. the estate. It, it makes sense in reverse, actually, because, like, fertility is right. higher among younger women. It's not the same for men, it's, right? Right. It's so fun. Like I read In these fact, articles sorry. all day, right? And I, I'm reading these articles about uh, like, on the same page. I'll see something about like all these women supporting abortion and like you don't need to have kids, you don't need this. And then the next topic down, it's about some middle aged actress who didn't start like didn't try to have kids until she was 48, and IVF treatments have been painful and humiliating. Well, don't worry. Mindy Kaling says yeah. all girls in their 20s should have their parents freeze their eggs. Yes, because IVF is not so a big deal weird. and it's also cheap. Which is um, not true. I'm lying. What What was it she said about the family? That was that. That was the part I thought was really, really shocking. Was the part about the family? Uh, it says I haven't. Okay, so it says she says a lot of men my age or older have already been married and have families and aren't wanting that again. She said I haven't been married and I still want a family, so I tend to gravitate towards a younger, athletic, uh, gorgeous guy. This woman is like 43. Yes, but what I'm saying is like when a guy says like, look, I want to marry a younger woman because she hasn't had a family yet, he will be called sexist and said that like you should not be doing that. Well, the yeah. issue there is like if it were flipped uh, with the genders. He still wouldn't have any entitlement to a woman in a more advantageous position in life if he's already started a family before and yeah. it's ended. Yeah. Like his marriage, his previous marriage has ended. Yep. Just like all of these women. I think that all three of them are single mothers. The uh, the upside is that Tay Diggs is the host and Tay Diggs is a fantastic actor. Yeah, I like that it was kind of an inside joke about, you know, the his, the movie with Angela Bassett. Yep. Uh, oh, yes. How Stella got her groove back. I didn't even think about that. I was thinking of That's what the, the show's basically. That's, uh, that's incredible. See, they will franchise. They will. Here I was thinking that they couldn't do a James Bond game show. And he was proving that you can apparently do that. <laughs> somehow so yeah it's just look i, I i'm not as uh, as angry about it. it's a lot harder to get angry when it's literally like uh, i'm sorry but a porn star and uh of uh, like a model who's been nothing but a victim the last the people last. who should be preaching it's it's fine but it, but it does it is one of those things where it is kind of jarring and disorienting when those two articles are like right next to each mm-hmm. other where it's like women perpetually the victim of older men women Cougars dating younger men because they're empowered. I'm like, so which is it? Like, yeah. pick, pick a lane. Pick a struggle. Pick, pick a struggle. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.